Okay, a little demo of the new Ditch Assist X. Um, I'm not much of an excavator operator, so I don't want to get uh, too many guys teasing my lack of skills, but just want to give you an idea how things are, are working here. So you'll see the typical Ditch Assist app screen here. Uh, we've hit a target grade of zero here, and we're just going to show that as we uh, move backwards and forwards, even though we're changing the position of the excavator, we're still going to maintain that uh, grade as we go back to the benchmark. Right here, you're going to see our actual elevation change. So of course we're running at 10 hertz off our GPS, well within uh, an accuracy of uh, you know a quarter inch or so here for a GPS system. So what I'm going to do here now is back up and uh, show you how when we go back to that benchmark, we should be at the same elevation again. I'm just gonna bring her back here a little bit. All right, so you can see here we got benchmark. Like I said, don't tease me for my lack of skills here. I'm trying to do this one-handed. While I videotape on an excavator, I have run for all of five minutes. Andrew Delgarno, if you're watching this, I'm talking to you, dude. Leave me alone. Yeah. Oops. Depth of perception apparently sucks. Rotate that bucket. Down we go. There, we're on it. And when we come back to the screen, try to get where there's not so much reflection, you see we are staying within a third of an inch on grade. A quarter inch to a third of an inch here on grade. So um, definitely well within the accuracy range, accuracy range of uh, RTK system. Uh, this will definitely make it a lot easier for guys for real time feedback on the position of your buckets. Uh, so the new Ditch Assist X is available for pre-orders here. Uh, if you're interested, give me a message. Take care.